Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Cooper Dockery with Get Healthy. Now did you know that in order to live a longer and healthier life, there are several healthy choices that you will have to make, such as getting regular physical exercise. It is now reported that one of the most important predictor of longevity is regular physical exercise. Studies show that less than 25% of Americans receive regular physical exercise daily. It is also shown that most people spend an average of 11 hours sitting per day. No wonder the incidence of obesity is on the rise. Stand by as Get Healthy with Dr. Cooper starts now. But before the break, we have in our show today um, Amy Garza who is going to tell us about exercise. And then we have Christopher and Rebecca to show us how to demonstrate some simple exercise. And don't forget the kitchen with Liz and Maribel. So we'll be right back after this short break. Welcome to Get Healthy with Dr. Cooper. Discover the secrets to amazing health and longevity Learn how lifestyle medicine, the vaccine for chronic diseases, can profoundly influence mind and body. Learn simple solutions such as healthy nutrition, exercise, strong family bonding, stress management, and spiritual renewal will empower you to live a longer, healthier, and more abundant life. And now, here's Dr. Donna Cooper. Welcome to Get Healthy with Dr. Cooper. Our topic today is more active living. In today's program, I will share with you some very important information on the health benefits of physical exercise. It is believed that every one hour of daily exercise will increase your lifespan by two hours. Therefore, obtaining regular physical exercise at least six days a week for 30 minutes to an hour will enable you to live a longer, fuller, and happier life. Regular physical exercise cuts the risk of death by 50 to 73 percent, as was reported in the Journal of American Association, December 2007. So why not invest in your future now and exercise daily? The benefit of physical exercise extends far beyond weight management. Researchers now show that regular physical exercise can help reduce one's risk for several diseases and other health conditions and may improve overall quality of life. The risk of cancer mortality is reduced to less than 50% in those patients receiving moderate to vigorous physical exercise for at least 30 minutes a day. And this was reported in the Archives of Internal Medicine, December 2007. Regular physical activity will protect from the following health conditions, heart disease and stroke. Daily physical exercise strengthens the heart muscle, lowers blood pressure, elevates good cholesterol, lowers the bad cholesterol. Regular physical exercise also improves blood flow and thus increases the heart muscle. Getting 30 or more minutes a day of regular physical exercise will reduce the risk of heart disease by 50% and the risk of stroke by 6 to 6 percent. Regular physical exercise will reduce blood pressure in patients with hypertension. This benefit is as a consequence of the reduction of body fat which is associated with hypertension. Type 2 diabetes can also be prevented or reversed with regular physical exercise. During physical exercise the muscles consume more blood sugar there is also an increase in insulin sensitivity. This helps to prevent or control diabetes. The risk of diabetes is reversed by 50% with daily moderate and rigorous physical exercise. Obesity. During physical exercise, the muscle use more calories. This reduces the amount of calories that are stored 
as fat, thus reducing obesity. The combination of physical activity and healthy nutrition is paramount in weight control and the prevention of obesity. Let's look at back pain and physical exercise. Physical exercise increases muscle strength, endurance, flexibility, and posture, all of which will lead to the prevention of low back pain. Physical exercise improves mood and reduces anxiety and depression through the production of neurotransmitters called endorphins or the happy hormones. These chemicals have a positive effect on mood and therefore will help the patient with their anxiety and depression. Therefore, patients that are stressed or depressed are encouraged to become more physically active. Are there any reasons then not to engage in regular physical exercise? So get out now. Let's get moving. We will have much more for you after the break. Hi, I'm Dr. Cooper Dockery. Did you know that prevention of diseases is the gold standard to keeping you healthy? But early detection is also vital. So why don't you call your doctor today for an evaluation? Welcome back to Get Healthy with Dr. Cooper. And today we have a guest in our studio, Amy Garza from Pure Therapy. Amy, mm -hmm. how long have you been working with patients? Um, I've been working since 2006 as a physical therapist servicing our community. Very good. And you know, in the Valley, we have so many patients with diabetes and obesity. And that is why we're here with the Get Healthy program which is a very new program and our idea is to empower the community how to live an active lifestyle and thus reduce your diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, cancer and many other diseases like heart disease. Amy, why is it important for us to be more active? Being more active can alleviate a lot of the problems that our community suffers today. Uh, physical activity can have a really good effect on our high blood pressure is issues, diabetes, joint pain, and obesity. Very good. Now, how much exercise is recommended for us? First, an, uh, an adult and then for children. Okay. For adults, um, it's recommended 30 minutes, six days a week of moderate intensity exercise. And for children six and older, 60 minutes a day. Very good. You know, mm -hmm. most children do not exercise. So I'm very happy you mentioned that for the children. Yes. Now, what are some of the simple exercise that you'd recommend that we begin with? Well, when you begin exercise, I recommend you start with something short and light. Because at the beginning, you want to acclimate your body to exercise and you want to make a habit of it. You want to be consistent because at the beginning, getting started is everything. Very good. How do you stay motivated, Amy? Um, what you want to do to stay motivated is make realistic goals for yourself. Um, and you want to make consistency with your workout. If you like working out in the morning, then don't set yourself up for failure by working out after work when you're tired. You want to create something real that you can stay consistent with. Consistency is key. You have to make a habit because a healthy lifestyle is a skill. It's not just something you wake up one day and decide to do. Very good. Uh, you mentioned to work out early in the mornings. I think that's the best. You know what? A lot of patients mm -hmm. in the evening, they're very tired and they do not want to exercise. Mm -hmm. So I also recommend to my patients, mm -hmm. start in the morning after a good night's rest, you're right. more motivated and energetic to exercise. I agree. Now, Amy, can you tell me if there are any dangers with, you know, working with the lower back? Some patients will say, oh, I can't exercise because I have back pain. How can they protect their lower back? Well, depending on the, um, the impairment of the back, there's various exercises to address that. But in general, when it comes to back pain, you want to have good posture and you want to engage your core musculature when working out. Um, physical therapists or physicians, we can kind of address that with you and guide you. Very good. Mm -hmm. 
So therefore, they just have to protect the lower back the way they bend, the way they lift. Exactly. Exactly. Very, very good body good. mechanics. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now, Amy, uh, is there anything you'd like to tell us in general about exercise? When it comes to exercise and be, um, getting a healthy lifestyle, you have to look at it, like I said, it is a skill. It's not something that you just acquire one day. I often compare it to riding a bicycle. You don't just get up and do that one day. It takes training, it takes participation, and you have to give yourself time. It, and like I said, you have to be consistent with these habits. I think most importantly is to keep moving. Exactly. You know, did you know that most Americans spend 11 hours a day sitting? They mm -hmm. call it the sitting disease. Mm -hmm. So the idea is to get the body moving. Exactly. Now, what about walking? Is that a good exercise? Yes, walking is very functional and it's easy to do. You want to start with something that you enjoy doing. Walking is something you can get out of the house, you can enjoy doing with other people, so it's a great way to start exercising. Right, and you can walk at home. Many times my mm -hmm. patient will say, oh, it was raining and I couldn't exercise. So I'll say, just walk in place. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. So Amy, I'm, I thank you so much for coming thank to you for the opportunity. help to educate the Valley, our people here, how to live a healthier lifestyle Thank and you. I know you have your 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 um, clinic in yes. North McAllen yes so if you need some more information then mm -hmm. pure therapy what's where is your address it's 6100 North 10th Street in McAllen Texas so if you have questions on how to exercise or how to protect your back then pure therapy on North 10th is where you should go and today I'm going to invite you to start living a healthier lifestyle. Thank you, Amy, for being with us today, and we hope to see you again soon. We'll return with more information. We have Rebecca and Christopher with simple exercise program for you to follow. So until then, stay right there. Don't move. We'll return right back in a few minutes. If you are seeking to lose weight and reduce or eliminate medicine, we have the solution. Dr. Donna Cooper offers a book of secrets to obtain a healthy lifestyle. Get healthy for life. You can find this book online at bookstores or your nearest clinic. Go for yours now and enjoy the lifestyle you have been waiting for. Marie, you have prediabetes. Prediabetes? I don't have time to eat right or exercise. I'm a busy mom. Oh, you're a busy mom. Yeah. This is great news. Busy moms never get prediabetes. Wait, what? Let me just... Yeah, this is all the people at risk for prediabetes, and way over here, busy moms. No? Whew. And now it's time for our Living Active segment. Christopher and Rebecca are going to be demonstrating simple exercises that you can do in the comfort of your living room. So don't go away, stay with us. Thank you, Dr. Cooper. This is Living Active. My name is Rebecca Huerta. This is Christopher Hanna, and we're going to go ahead and demonstrate some workouts that you can do in the comfort of your own home to start off your day. The first exercise we're going to go ahead and demonstrate is going to be a push-up. The main muscle work in this is going to be your chest. Other muscles that are also worked with this is your tricep. You're going to want to go ahead and lower yourself all the way down to the floor to where your chest almost touches the floor. And go ahead and press back up. Repeat for about 10 to 20 reps. You know your own body, you know what you're capable of. So go ahead and start off with two sets of this from 10 to 20 reps. The next exercise we're going to go ahead and demonstrate is going to be lion leg raises. This muscle work is going to target your abs. You're going to want to go ahead and lay straight on your back, legs extended all the way out with a slight bend in your knee. You're going to go ahead and raise your legs all the way up till you get about a 90 degree angle. Hold for one second and go ahead and 
start, go back to the starting position. You're gonna go ahead and repeat this for 20 reps. Go ahead and start off with two sets. The next exercise we're going to go ahead and demonstrate is in place lunges. You can do this with your own body weight or you can do it with the dumbbell. Chris is gonna go ahead and show us with the 20 pound dumbbell. He's gonna put one foot in front of the other. The back leg is the one that you're gonna go ahead and bend and go all the way down. You want to make sure that your knee does not go past your toes. The next exercise we're going to go ahead and demonstrate is going to be tricep dips. This is going to, the muscle targeted is going to be your triceps. You're going to place your hands face down on the chair, bend at your elbows, lower yourself, and go ahead and push yourself all the way up. Make sure you really flex that tricep. The next exercise we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate is going to be uh, side bridges. You're gonna go ahead and lay on the floor. This, the target that you're gonna target is gonna be your obliques. You're gonna hold yourself up for about 30 to 45 seconds, and then you're gonna repeat on the other side. You're going to start off with two sets of these. The last exercise we're going to go ahead and demonstrate is overhead tricep extensions. You're going to grab a dumbbell. You're going to place both hands, um, palms facing up, and you're going to extend all the way up. And then as you head down, you want to make sure your forearm touches your bicep. That's when you know to move straight back up. You're going to want to start off with 15 to 20 reps, two sets, and as your tolerance increases and you know you can do a little bit more, you can go on to three to four sets. Okay, and this concludes Living Active. We're going to go ahead and head back with Dr. Cooper in the studio. Thank you. Thank you, Christopher and Rebecca. These were great examples of exercise we can do at home. And now, don't leave. We have much more for you after the break. Hi, I'm Dr. Cooper Dockery. Did you know that prevention of diseases is the gold standard to keeping you healthy? But early detection is also vital. So why don't you call your doctor today for an evaluation? Your girls have been with you through every moment of your life. They were with you when you felt unbreakable. And with you when you had your heart broken. They were with you when you shared your love with the world. And with you when she became your world. They're still with you right now. But how well do you know them? You don't know my name. Welcome back to Get Healthy. Now we already discussed exercise and now it is time for healthy meals. So in the kitchen today we have Lizlette and Hi. Maribel. Hi. Now Lizlet is a registered dietitian and Maribel is a health coach. Mm -hmm. Lizlet, what do we have today? Today we have a great green quinoa salad. Very easy to make. Maribel, do your patients like the salad? They love it. They love it. It's something that is cold for the summer and it's very easy to prepare. Lizlet, why do we choose quinoa? Tell us a um, little bit about quinoa. The great benefits about quinoa is that it um, has the seven in complete amino acids. Uh, and it, what basically that means is that it's a complete protein, very filling. It's more filling than rice or other things we're used to. Right, and it has a lot of fiber. So it has yes. a lot of protein, fiber, iron, and minerals. Exactly. All right, now we're ready to go. Why don't you start? Show us what you're going to be doing. All right. We're going to start off with two cups of quinoa. And all you're going to do is toss them into your bowl. Remember that this is prepared the same way as rice, the same ratio, two to one. 
That is correct. Then we're gonna add one whole avocado into the same bowl. So then we could use the quinoa instead of rice. Is that right? Correct. And why did we choose avocado? What about avocado and good oil, good fats? All, all the good fats which are contained in the avocado or in olive oil are very good to promote HDL which will lower our bad cholesterol. All right, so avocado then has good fats. Correct. So we won't get any cholesterol when we eat avocado. Yes. Because you get cholesterol only from animal fat. Is that exactly. right? Exactly. Good, let's continue. We're gonna continue adding the cucumbers. We wanna use a, a whole medium, not too large cucumber diced and we're gonna add it, toss it in there with the salad, continuing with one cup of edamames. What's edamames? That's a strange bean. Tell us something a little bit about that. <laughs> not that strange, it's actually really good. It's a soybean and it's also a great source of protein. So already we have all the protein coming from the quinoa and from the edamame itself. Good, and then the mm -hmm. cucumber with a lot of fiber and your vitamins. Yes. Good. And then we get the sweet stuff. Not so sweet, we're adding a whole cup of green grapes into mm -hmm. the same salad. And we're adding um, three tablespoons of olive oil into our bowl. And we're cutting one lemon. But before we cut it, we're gonna zest it. And we're gonna use the zest of the whole lemon in the juice and the olive oil. And we're just gonna so mix them. It <laughs> does, it does. It really does give it that summer taste that we're looking for. In there, we can add the mint and the parsley. Very good. Why do we need to put the mint there? Tell us about the mint. Um, it's list. really good for, for our digestion. And you're gonna see that it's really refreshing. It helps calm like any upset stomachs. So you have a refreshing taste from this correct. salad. Very good. We're going to go ahead and add it and then just mix all toss the ingredients, combine. toss, combine, and if you want to keep it in the refrigerator uh, for it to serve cold. Could we add more fruits and vegetables to this? Of course, it's very easy to um, edit and we can we can get creative ourselves and if we wanted a more colorful salad, we could put maybe the red apples instead. Um, so if I like olives then, I could put some olives there, right? Yes. So I can put whatever fruits or vegetables that I like to make it mine. Mm -hmm. That's that is, right? That is correct. Some of our patients come up with their own suggestions. We served it last week and it was a hit. Uh, some of them remembered about jicama and the other patients also remembered about green apples, mm -hmm. maintaining the green in the salad. So your patients from where? From the wellness center? The patients from yeah. the wellness center. We <laughs> were kind of iffy about the taste and the whole uh, mint, but they loved it. They so loved it. We have a lot of patients who have changed their, um, their lifestyle and changed what they're eating. And mm -hmm. now we have patients that are reversing their diabetes. I have several patients that are now off diabetes medication and are doing very well because they have changed to a healthier lifestyle. They're eating differently and they're exercising more. Thank you Liz and Maribel for this oh, beautiful welcome. salad. Let's taste it and see what it tastes like. Oh, can't wait. You're going to love it. Very good. I'll get you some forks. <laughs> All right, thank you. you. I make mm. everyone at home jealous. Yeah. <laughs> very delicious. Yay. I like the mint. The mint is very nice. Very refreshing. Very, very refreshing. refreshing. Mm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> and the canola, very tasty. Did a really good job, Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> at this time, we're going to take a short break. Mm. When Get Healthy Return, we have much more for you. So don't leave. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Dr. Cooper Dockery. Did you know that prevention of diseases is the gold standard to keeping you healthy? But early detection is also vital. So why don't you call your doctor today for an evaluation? Do you 
Eva Marie smoked 12,000 packs of cigarettes over 15 years. She quit, and now there's a new lung cancer screening that could save her life. You stop smoking, now start screening. No matter how much you smoked, early detection could save you. Talk to your doctor or learn more at savedbythescan.org. If you are seeking to lose weight and reduce or eliminate medicine, we have the solution. Dr. Donna Cooper offers a book of secrets to obtain a healthy lifestyle. Get healthy for life. You can find this book online at bookstores or your nearest clinic. Go for yours now and enjoy the lifestyle you have been waiting for. Welcome back. I know that you have learned much about living healthy, how to exercise, and how to choose healthy food. But it's also important that the mind and the body connects. If you don't have a healthy mind, you will not move towards a long and happy lifestyle. One Christian author, Ellen G. White, wrote in her book, Counsels on Health, page 55, all who can possibly do so ought to walk in the open air every day, winter and summer. A walk even in the winter would be more beneficial to health than all the medicine that the doctor may prescribe. When this world was created, in addition to the ideal diet given to Adam and Eve, they were placed in the garden where they were asked to care for it. In Genesis 2.15, it states, then the Lord God took man and put him in the Garden of Eden to tend and keep it. It was God's intention for man to live a very active lifestyle, knowing that physical activity would lead to good and long life. In Proverbs 17 verse 22, it says, A merry heart does good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bone. It is believed that exercise improves the production of endorphin. These are special chemicals in the brain that promote happiness and mood. They're called the happy hormones. So as you continue on your journey to a long and happy and healthy life, remember an early walk in the morning for 30 to 60 minutes is a blessing for the whole day and can lead to the prevention of many diseases. So put on your walking shoes and let's go walking for a long and healthy life. Until next time, this is Dr. Cooper Dockery saying goodbye. And remember to return, same time, same channel. This broadcast was sponsored by Cooper Wellness Center and Faithful Path International Ministries. For more information on how to become a patient or a sponsor, please contact us at 1-844-343-8935 or visit our website www.cooperwellnesscenter.com.